When you're working with vocals in Reason, you will have them on an audio track. Now, you may very well find that if you have a big project going, you have lots and lots of tracks. So you have all your drums, you have all your synths, everything's kind of layered up in the sequencer here. And your vocals will just be one of the tracks in that project. Now, what I happen to have in this example is I've got a stereo bounce of the different parts of my project. So I've got my backing track here, which I've named. I've got my lead vocal stem and I've got my backing vocal stem. Now that just happens to be the way that my project has come to me. It may well be that when you're working on yours, you have lots and lots of tracks and your vocals are just a couple of the tracks within 10, 20, 30 other instrumental tracks. When you're working like this, it makes things slightly easier to deal with because there's a lot less clutter. So here's my backing track, for example. And of course, these are all synced up because whoever's exported the stems has done their job properly and I know exactly where everything's supposed to begin and end. Here's my lead vocal. Yeah, cause she's so dirty when no one's there. And here's my backing vocal. Now, as it happens, the backing vocal for this stem is actually a composite of various different harmonies put together. So if I play this back, there are parts of it that are monophonic. But these sections here, I guess that I'm a prisoner locked up in your love. That presents a little bit of a problem because, as I've mentioned, this pitch editor is basically designed for working with monophonic audio, not polyphonic audio. So the bits where it's monophonic, you can see that Reason has managed to pitch detect it. For that body, I commit a crime. I guess that I'm a prisoner locked up in your love. But as soon as you hit a part that's polyphonic, so it's got more than one note happening at once, Reason essentially ignores it. Now, that may change in future, we don't know. But at the moment, if you want to pitch correct vocals, for example, where there are harmonies, you're going to need the original stems of those different takes. So in this case, I happen to have a mixed down stem of the backing vocal with its harmonies already glued down. But if I wanted to work with the pitch inside those, I would need to go back and get the original stems, which were not composited down into one single stereo file. My lead vocal, of course, is all monophonic, so that's fine. Reason's been okay with, with figuring that out. So assuming that you have your project ready to go, in this case, my backing track, my lead vocal, and my backing vocal, I'm going to ignore the backing vocal for now, but I'll come back to it later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and start to edit some pitch. <laughs> 